Welcome to Tessera's Nerf Room. This is the Valiance. This is a hammer shot mod that I have been doing myself for a quite long time, and I have been working on this blaster for a little bit longer than I reasonably should, mainly because there were a few hiccups along the way that I just wasn't sure how to fix. However, at this point, the blaster is completely finished and in its full working order, and so thus, I'm obviously making a video about it, because this is actually a blaster that I would argue is almost as important as the Tesseract. <music> Now, some of you who have been following my channel for a while will remember that this isn't the only hammer shot I have. I also have this one, which is the El Lobo. And to be completely blunt, this completely like throws El Lobo out of the water. This blaster is way better as a hammer shot mod than El Lobo could reasonably be, unless I were to do a lot of things to the internals, and I can't really do much to the internals. And not just that, but this blaster I did completely myself, while El Lobo was originally modded by Phase 1 Foam, and then he just gave it to me with the parts to make it a little bit better. All I did was paint it and glitz it up a little bit and give it its name and give it its personality. This blaster, on the other hand, I put a lot of effort into and today I'm going to be showing you what it can do. Let's get into it. So first let's start off with the design. This blaster is mostly white with a bunch of pink line details and also this purple cylinder really adds a little extra touch. Plus custom nameplates and because my name is in supervisor I made sure to do both sides and both sides are as close to each other as I can reasonably get. I think that the way that this looks is way better than I was expecting. I was kind of skeptical on what a white color scheme would do for the uh, hammer shot but honestly I think this came out very well. It looks very futuristic like it came from Star Wars or something like that, and it looks like all these pink details should glow. The only thing that I don't like about the design is the fact that I had to use a pen to get a lot of the pink details because they're in super tight, hard to paint places that would be nearly impossible to reach with an original paintbrush and paint. Also, I don't think I have any regular pink paint, so I had to mix blue and purple or blue and red in order to get purple, and that is where the cross came from and this little marking right here and some of these lines right around here. For the rest of it, I unfortunately had to use a pen, but honestly, it's kind of impossible to notice if you weren't looking very, very closely at it. The ergonomics are exactly the same, I haven't done anything to the shell, it is still a hammer shot, though that does mean that the grip is really really good because come on, the hammer shot's grip is basically the most perfect like pistol grip that you could do outside of the Maverick. I'm sorry but the Maverick has the best grip ever made, you cannot change my mind, I love the Maverick's grip way too much to say anything is better. This grip though is really good and it's actually very nice and smooth with the white paint on it, I thought the paint was going to make it like tacky or sticky or something, but no, it actually feels very nice to hold onto. And there's a special little detail here, a metal trigger, which I will elaborate on further. This blaster works the same as an original hammer shot. You pull the hammer down to prime, and then you can fire once. And you can also kind of fan it, but I don't recommend it. So it kind of has slam fire, but it kind of doesn't, and you have to be really deliberate with it, but that's not the point. The point is, this is hitting very, very hard. I don't have exact FPS numbers here, but I do know that the blaster is hitting really hard, a whole lot harder than a standard hammer shot. In fact, I would argue that this is probably hitting close to 100 FPS, if not even more than 100 FPS, and I haven't done anything with the O-rings inside of it. That should just go to show how good the hammer shot is on the surface, with a simple spring upgrade, air restrictors removed, and a better dart seal. And with all that said, what in the hell did I actually do to the internals? I'm glad you didn't ask. This blaster features a custom 3D printed purple cylinder which holds seven short darts. And yes, this blaster is designed for short darts only. With full length darts, it does work, but it really isn't optimized to be used. The full length darts don't have a very good seal and they kind of just fishtail upwards because of the angle of the cylinder. So it is a lot better designed for short darts and I recommend only using short darts if you're going to be using this particular cylinder. But it's also using a blaster parts hammer shot upgrade kit which includes three components, two are on this blaster, one I left out for a very specific reason. This includes the metal trigger which I mentioned earlier and is very very nicely designed, perfectly machined for the original hammer shot. I don't know why but it doesn't seem to work on newer generation hammer shots but that's besides the point. A spring upgrade that adds about 15 to 20 FPS if you were to leave the original cylinder 
cylinder in and a metal hammer. I didn't put the metal hammer in because a metal hammer would cause a lot more weight for the spring to have to push up when you pulled the trigger and that would decrease FPS by a landslide. So I left the original plastic hammer in because it gets the job done anyway. And the thing is, with the combined efforts of the extended spring, which is a lot bigger and heavier than the original hammer shot spring, and this upgraded cylinder which has a little bit of a better tighter fit around the short length darts, it causes this blaster to hit like a truck. It punches unforgivably hard, and that is the best thing that I could have possibly imagined, and I am so happy that it worked out that way because I wanted a high performance blaster pistol. As if all that wasn't enough, I lubricated the crap out of the internals so it runs smooth like butter. There is no grittiness in the trigger, there's no straining in the prime, even though it kind of sounds like it. That is mainly just the plastic creaking because the blaster's kind of old. I found this shell at the thrift store for $2. That is like just a perfect example of what you could do with thrift store blasters. This hammer shot wasn't in the best condition and I made it into the best pistol in my entire collection. Let's get onto the firing demo. I'm using worker short darts here so it's a little bit of a better seal than something like dart zone short darts so take that into consideration. So this blaster was quite an achievement for me, even though it really isn't that big of a deal. It's just a nice hammer shot mod, but mainly it goes to show what you can do with a blaster that you get from the thrift store and a few extra bucks to spare on parts. The cylinder was about $15 and I got it off of Etsy and the blaster parts kit was $30 and I got it off of Out of Darts. I will be linking both of those components in the description below so that you can make a valiance for yourself. I will also link the STL files for the uh, nameplates on the top in case you want to use them for your your own blaster. If you for some reason want to call your blaster the same thing that I called my blaster. With that said, I love this little pistol and I am probably going to use it as my main sidearm for every single war that I go to because it is a very important pistol to me. I made it completely myself and I'm really happy with how it turned out. With all that said, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>